The spiral cage wrapping around the vertical rebars plays a crucial role. It helps in evenly distributing the load, reducing the risk of buckling and enhancing the overall ductility of the column. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the cutting length of a spiral cage for a circular column. Before moving on to the calculation part, let's take a closer look at the components of our spiral cage. The vertical rebars running the length of the column are enveloped by the spiral stirrups. These spirals not only hold the vertical rebars in place, but also provide confinement to the concrete, preventing it from cracking and failing under pressure. Let's dive into an example to calculate the cutting length of a spiral cage for a column. We have a column of diameter 450 mm, height of column is given as 9 meters, Clear cover is 40 mm. Spacing or pitch of spiral rings is 100 mm center to center. The diameter of spiral stirrups is given as 8 mm. Let's move on to the calculation part. First, we calculate the radius of spiral, which is equal to the radius of column, excluding the clear cover and half the diameter of the spiral stirrup. That's radius of column minus clear cover minus diameter of stirrup upon 2. Radius of column will be diameter of column upon 2, that's 450 mm upon 2. Clear cover is 40 mm and diameter of stirrups is 8 mm. On substituting these values, the radius of spiral stirrup will be 181 mm. Next, we find the length of one spiral using the circumference formula. Length of one spiral will be circumference of circle, that's 2 pi r, where r is the radius of spiral already calculated as 181 mm. On substituting these values, length of one spiral will be 1137 mm or 1.137 meters. Now, we calculate the number of spirals needed for the entire column height. Number of spirals is given by height of column upon pitch plus 1. Height of column is given as 9000 mm, pitch is given as 100 mm center to center. On substituting these values, the number of spirals will be 91. Moving on to the final step, in which we will calculate the total cutting length of the spiral cage. Total cutting length of the spiral cage will be number of spirals into cutting length of one spiral. Number of spirals is calculated as 91 and cutting length of one spiral is 1.137 meters. On substituting these values, Total cutting length of spiral cage will be 103.5 meters. And there you have it. The total cutting length of the spiral cage for our column will be 103.5 meters. So this was all about this lecture. Thank you.